Hey everyone, welcome back to Qigong Meditation Channel again. My name is Brother Insight, Brother Mante. Um, today in this video, I would like to share with you the way that I enjoy Qigong every day and maintain my good health. I can do the best for my health. There are a lot of friends ask um, what is the best time and where to practice Qigong the best way and how long to to, to do Qigong so that you can enjoy uh, every day. So in this video, I will share with you. Um, there are uh, three aspects about that. First of all, I enjoy uh, Qigong is usually uh, the best time is in the morning. Um, in the morning when the sun rises, um, I, I do sitting meditation for 45 minutes uh, every morning. And after that, I have some warm water and uh, start my Qigong practice in the morning. Uh, when the sun rise is the best because um, very fresh uh, energy, fresh um, oxygen uh, start the day. And the sun rise is the, the most yang energy uh, for the day. So when we enjoy Qigong, we do exercise, we breathe and we bring very good oxygen to, to our body and to, to start the day, okay? And the sunrise always brings a lot of joy and the sunshine, fresh air. Um, yeah, in the morning when the sunrise, before breakfast. And after to do um, uh, uh, exercise, to do Qigong, you can have some warm water um, and rest a little bit and have breakfast. In the afternoon, you can do uh, uh, exercise before dinner. Um, when the sun sets, are so beautiful because the view is so nice and you feel like very calm and very easy to um, resonate uh, with the nature, uh, with the space around you. So uh, the best time actually um, when you don't feel too full um, before meal. So uh, practice uh, Qigong always before meal is the best. Um, and uh, But if you don't uh, manage it, well, you know, in the between, like a break time, you can do, um, you can do exercise as well. It's okay. For example, after meal, when you already have a, a, a have a breakfast, right? But around ten or eleven o'clock, um, you can do that. You can do exercise as well. It's like one or two hour after meal. It's okay. You can do exercise. But again, the best time is actually in the morning when the sun rises before breakfast and also at the sunset in the afternoon before dinner. Space. Where do we practice Qigong so that we can get the most uh, benefits? On the mountain. On the mountain is the best. Right now I am on the rock near the waterfall um, on the mountain. Hidden mountain uh, at the park monastery. It's beautiful up here. The sunshine and the fresh air. It's, uh, it's wonderful to breathe and to to have a connection with the nature. So the best, uh, the best space actually on the mountain, um, when you practice on the quiet, uh, on the, the area, um, place that very quiet and spacious. Uh, on the mountain, you can get the most oxygen and fresh air and the sunshine to refresh your body and to re receive the, the, the energy from the space. From the sunshine, from the oxygen, and also on the beach. Uh, on the beach, also is uh, the sound of the waves and the vast uh, oceans and the beach. Make your body uh, calm and healthy, um, and also you easy to feel fresh and and uh, and healing in the body when you breathe um, the fresh air. Or the third actually in the forest. Uh, under the trees and the, the forest is very calm and protected and quiet and the trees energy also give you the wonderful oxygen. So again uh, on the mountain, on the beach or in the forest is a wonderful place outdoor you can practice uh, Qigong because um, those places is have you, um, have you uh, energy refresh your body and refresh your mind and have a wonderful and 
deep connection to the nature. But if the weather is cold, um, you can practice inside, uh, indoor, in the rooms as well, in your guest room. Um, in the, you can set up the place in the, uh, in the room that you feel quiet and spacious so that you can move around. But when you uh, start to do exercise, you can open the, the window just a little bit so that you can receive the, 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 the oxygen, the fresh air. About how long? About the, the length of the exercise. So usually every day, 20 minutes is the best uh, for you to manage. Anybody, you can have 20 minutes a day, right? So 20 minutes a day, 20 minutes uh, in the morning or 20 minutes in the afternoon also is good. Um, the best for everyone you can apply but when you have uh, more time okay 30 minutes in even uh, much better 30 minutes a day keep the routine like that sometimes you can do 45 minutes it's, um, you know like uh, from uh, 20 minutes until 45 minutes that is the best um, period of time that you can have a qigong exercise every day so that you can um, Maintain good health and um, uh, wonderful energy flowing in the body and the mind. Um, I have uh, 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 different videos uh, with different lengths, even 20 minutes routine or 30 minutes routine or even 45 minutes long. Um, even, you know, it's sometime during the break time, you can have a 5 or 10 minutes also is good. Um, there are, for example, during your uh, work time, and then you have uh, some time to break and to rest. Take five or ten minutes to massage your face or your hands or move your body to, uh, to relax your lower back or your shoulders, for example. So five to ten minutes also is good. But um, when you just have a five or ten minutes, it means you do more, you different times, like two or three times a day, like that so that you can manage, um, you can maintain um, the habit for you to, to move your body. Three aspects, again, the best time to practice Qigong is in the morning when the sun rises before breakfast, or in the afternoon at the sunset uh, before dinner. Yeah. Always do when your stomach not too full. Yeah. If you have meal, uh, at least one or two hours after meal, okay, so you can practice uh, exercise. For the space uh, on the mountain is the best, uh, on the beach or in the forest. Outdoor, um, when the weather is sufficient for you, the weather not too cold. Indoor, when you practice in a room, um, fire and arrange your room in such a way that you have a space to move around and also um, open the the windows a little bit so that you can receive the, the oxygen, the air uh, from outside. How long every day, uh, 20 minutes is the best for all of us can manage well. From 20 minutes to 45 minutes. Um, you can do that uh, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Uh, if you don't have a time, you can do once in the morning, it's okay. And then slowly you can increase more times. Even during the break, break time, you can have 5 or 10 minutes. Um, during the break time, you can do the exercise, also good. So I, I do every day like that. I feel so good for my body and mind. Even uh, before I uh, go to bed, you can take 5 or 10 minutes to massage the body and to lie down to relax the body. Uh, it's wonderful. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us today um, for this video. Hopefully you get uh, some message from these videos because some of you are asking about the question. I wish you a wonderful time uh, and wonderful uh, Qigong practice. See you with the next video. <laughs>